I couldn't help but mention the Serena Williams thing because it's hilarious. It's not anything important, but everyone's talking about it because cult of celebrity bullshit, whatever. But it's another example of how all progressives do is lie and how progressivism and progressive people and especially wealthy progressive people are just total fucking assholes. So Serena Williams gets caught breaking the rules. Now, according to fucking everybody, including Serena Williams and her coach, everybody does this thing where the coach coaches when they're not supposed to during the game. Apparently, you cannot be coached by anybody when you're playing tennis at the U.S. Open. But apparently, quote-unquote, everybody, you know, their coach is like within sight in the sand, stands giving hand signals. And it's in the rule book that you can't do hand signals or verbal coaching. But she gets caught doing it by the judge, and the judge says, I'm going to give you a warning. And Serena Williams decides to throw a fit and says, oh, I know, I have a kid. I, I would never cheat and, and, and give a bad example to my daughter. How dare you? I've never cheated in my whole entire life. And he just says, whatever, go play. And apparently at some other point in the game, she throws and breaks her racket, which you're not allowed to do. It's unsportsmanlike conduct. That's a penalty in football, let alone tennis. And uh, she is penalized for it. She throws another fit and is penalized for calling the uh, the judge a thief. You're not allowed to verbally accost the judge or call or you're not even allowed to say, hey, you're being uh, unfair to me. That's like against the again, the unsportsmanlike rules. So she gets penalized again. And then she says the judge is a sexist and gets penalized Again, so she goes and calls for some other, like, more important official than the fucking judge, the referee on the fucking field, and bitches at him and calls him the guy a sexist again, and just throws this giant hissy fit. Now, Serena Williams has, what, 23 Grand Slam titles. She's got over 100 fucking individual Open Championships or something. She's the most unbelievably dominant tennis player in fucking human history. She's ridiculous. Uh, and somehow throws this giant fit while she's losing badly to this relatively unknown, adorable 20-year-old half-black, half-Asian girl named uh, Naomi Osaka, who wins her first U.S. Open. And she's a new rising star, beats Serena Williams. And... Uh, doesn't even really get to celebrate her victory. She's brought to tears by all this controversy. People are booing her. And Serena feels bad that her throwing her race baity fucking baby fit has caused fans to boo poor Osaka, who's like new. I've never heard of her. I'm sure she's not unknown in tennis, but whatever. Um, and she's like crying and hiding her face during her own award ceremony. And then every press conference is not Osaka. Congratulations on beating Serena Williams. It's Serena Williams controversy, controversy, controversy. And it's just the most fucking disgusting and repugnant thing. It's not just politics. It just seems like uh, culture in a lot of facets. And I guess sports is included is revolting. And sensationalist. And it's just like nobody was talking to or congratulating fucking Osaka. It's all like, Serena, do you really think that judge was a racist, sexist piece of shit? Well, you can't call uh, the judge uh, a sexist because he's judging two women. And you can't call him a racist because Osaka is also part black. So it's just like she just won't stop digging her own hole. Serena Williams is a piece of shit. She threw a fit because she was losing, and then she threw a fit because she was cheating, and then she threw a fit because she got called out, and then she threw a fit because she got caught throwing a fit, and then now she's crying to the fucking press and trying to save face because she realizes that she, it's like the sunk cost fallacy. She knows that she's a fucking liar, and can't stop because then she'd have to admit that she made an absolute unforgivable ass of herself. And she can't possibly admit that because that would that's would be even worse than everything she's already done. So she has to just like keep going until the line of admitting that you're a total piece of shit is exceeded by trying to pull the wool over all the rest of the retards of the world's eyes that you're not a piece of shit when you are, as a fact, a piece of shit. It's 
something that happens extremely constantly. This is part of the reason why progressives lie. This is part of the reason why feminists make shit up until they're caught out. You know, like the chick who ran Me Too is a, is a statutory rapist. And fucking, uh, I'll, you know, reset the clock. A male feminist has assaulted or sexually abused or, or in, uh, propositioned illicitly fucking somebody. It's just fucking... These are almost always horrible people, and that's part of the reason why they pretend to have the monopoly on being good. Because it's it's the wolf in sheep's clothing. It's what these people are. So Serena Williams, somehow, despite being one of the best ever, still has an ego. Hasn't developed any of that kind of wise veteran status anything. Hasn't you know developed any humility or chill at all. And is throwing a fit like a new hot-headed, you know, spoiled cunt. And I mean, she's worth like a like two hundred million dollars or something like that. Most of that from endorsements. And dear God, if I was Nike, oh, oh, wait, no, if I was Nike, I would give her, you know, a new contract deal and raise her pay because Nike has employed Colin fucking Kaepernick, who Serena Williams is a fucking saint, a pure. Christ-like figure compared to that scumfuck. So it's just like, uh, I guess there's not probably going to be any consequences, and if anything, her support from progressive retards will only increase because, of course, that white male judge was a sexist, racist piece of shit. And it's not that she is an unsportsmanlike, complete spaz who was on her period or something during the fucking U.S. Open. Who knows why the fuck she acted like such a freak. I've never heard of her doing anything like that before in her illustrious, like, 15 or 20-year fucking career. She's been around forever. Um, I have no idea why this is. Uh... But it's just, it's a little microcosm of the macro garbage that our culture is infested with. You know, this is the culture war, to use that cringy phrase. Thanks for watching.